shall we get started? Let's go this way, same as usual. Who went up for me tonight? The sun was setting on the farm, and Woolly, the little lamb, was sleepy. Can you see Woolly? Isn't he adorable? But Woolly couldn't find his mother. Oh, who will tuck me in tonight? He said sadly. Look at how sad he is. Poor Woolly. I will, I will, said Mrs Cow. Don't you worry, I know how. Everything will be all right. I'll tuck you in real snug and tight. Mrs Cow, do you see her? Woolly doesn't look very happy, does he? Then Mrs Cow spread out the blanket and tucked Woolly in so tight that he couldn't move. Stop! cried Woolly. That's not right. Oh, who will tuck me in tonight? Do you see how tight he's tucked in? My goodness, that is too tight. Fancy that, said Mrs Cat. I can do it just like that. I think I know just what you're missing. You need lots of bedtime kissing. Look at Miss Cat. She's funny. Woolly does not look happy with that either, does he? Then Mrs. Cat began to lick Woolly all over his face with her little tongue. Yuck! cried Woolly. That's not right. Oh, who will tuck me in tonight? Can you see Mrs. Cat licking him all over? Hopefully it'll come back up for you. If not, I will be putting it on YouTube afterwards. Here I come, said Mrs. Horse. I can do the job, of course. When you're in bed all nice and snug, I'll give you a great big hug. Yeah, you're back. Excellent. Can you see Mrs. Horse? How do you think Woolly feels about Mrs. Horse? He doesn't look very happy, does he? Oh, poor Woolly. Then Mrs. Horse sat down on Woolly's bed, wrapped herself around him, and squeezed with all her might. Help! cried Woolly. That's not right. Oh, who will tuck me in tonight? That is a very tight squeeze there from Mrs. Horse. Poor Woolly. No job's too small, no job's too big. I can do it, said Mrs. Pig. Don't you move, I'll be right back. I think you need a bedtime snack. What do you think? Do you think Woolly needs a bedtime snack? He doesn't look very happy. Then Mrs. Pig brought Woolly a pail full of messy, stinky piggy snacks. No, no, cried Woolly. That's not right. Oh, who will tuck me in tonight? That does not look very appetising, look. Poor Woolly. You can see he's covering his nose with his hat. Poor little fellow. Don't you worry. You're in luck. I can help, said Mrs. Duck. She's got a guitar look. Don't you fret and don't you cry. I'll sing a lovely lullaby. That might help, actually. Then Mrs. Duck sang, Quack, 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 quack. But it didn't sound very much like a lullaby. <gasps> Poor Woolly. Enough, said Woolly. That's not right. Can't anyone tuck me in tonight? Oh dear. Maybe Mrs. Duck's not a good singer after all. I can, said Mother Sheep. Oh, look at how happy he is. Look at that. That is a happy old face. You're back, cried Woolly. Yes, my little lamb. I'm sorry I'm late. She tucked his blanket in just right, not too loose and not too tight. Look at 
those happy faces. That's my boat being noisy, I don't know if you can hear that. Gave hugs and kisses, soft and sweet, and something sensible to eat. That's a muffin, that does not look like a sensible bedtime snack. She sang some lovely lullabies. The little woolly closed his eyes. Good night, woolly. That's a very nice story, huh?